Hey gang, quick little tip. Um, I do this on all my vehicles. Right here, we've got an oil analysis report. But Blackstone Labs up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, does a awesome job analyzing the heavy metals and all kinds of other things in your oil. So when you do an oil change, you can grab a sample of oil, put it in there, fill out the paperwork, send them a check for 30 bucks, and they will give you this very comprehensive um, oil analysis report. And in the comments up here, uh, they've actually got a pretty good sense of humor as well. Um, now, first truck that I sent was Old Blue, so you can see they were even calling it Old Blue and it's saying old blues younger and judging by the name we're guessing redder brother aka clifford looks great in its first oil analysis um but they've got a great sense of humor and at the same time they do a very very thorough job of giving all of the information that you could possibly want uh you've got all of your metal contents here and what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable and where the values should be so on and so forth uh, as well as the viscosity of the oil at a specific temperature the viscosity at another specific temperature the flash point in fahrenheit percentage of fuel and right here you can see clifford came in at a half a part per million one half part per million ppm um, zero antifreeze zero water insolubles just 0.3 of one percent parts per million and everything fell well below the values uh, same thing here everything just did you know you got your universal averages over here if you look at everything Clifford did really, really well, except on the calcium end, and then we're looking at 2,133 parts per million versus universal averages of 17 or 1,979. So uh, essentially, all this is telling you is: is my engine healthy or not, without having to tear it all apart and inspect it. So, since we have a new engine in Ruby, I have right here a clean sample of oil from the oil change it's the break-in and it's just standard oil with a eight ounce bottle of Rislone concentrate and I use Rislone in all my oil changes every time I have since my very first vehicle uh, I've never been told it's a bad idea I've always been told it's a good idea Rislone is kind of a sea foam of the small engine world uh, in my opinion but again that's just my opinion people use marble mystery oil people use a number of different additives in their oils that they believe in and i encourage everyone to do what they think is right um but it's always a good idea to ask around so um, i wanted to bring this up because i have two containers here and the two main components of a drive line are engine and transmission they will check all of it they'll check your rear end gear oil uh, they'll ch they'll check everything uh, whatever you need to have done and you can just simply go to blackstonelabs.com uh, i'm sure that their website is in the paperwork and i'll show you what's in the container you've got your lid and these are safe to ship through the usps and they give you a prepaid postage no postage necessary if mailed in the United States. So, well, you're, you're only, and they send these kits to you for free as well. You're only paying for the oil analysis, all right? You have a Ziploc bag, which the interior container right here will go in after it's wrapped in this oil soap cloth. And then everything goes, oh, let's get this out. What do we got here? And then we've got uh, an oil change sticker, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and put that on uh, uh, Ruby. But let me give you a quick, simple little instructions. There is not much there at all that you have to fill out. 
Okay, it gives you your name and address up here where I'm covering it up with my thumb. Then your make, model, engine make, model, fuel type, gas, diesel, leaded, E85, other. Please send more sample containers if you want more sample containers, okay? And then come over here. This is um, unit ID, which I would just put the name of my truck there which is in this case Ruby sample date which will be the day that I actually change the oil the miles on the oil miles or kilometers on the engine which is going to be the same for both of those oil added between the changes was you know zero and then the type of oil that was used uh, it was a non-synthetic that was used initially. I have full synthetic in there now. Again, with another bottle of Rizlone, only this time it's 16 ounces, uh, to make it, um, it, and that's a concentrate. So the 16 ounces acts like 32 ounces, just in 16 ounce form. Then you flip it over to the other side, and you either have used card on file, used card below, or check, okay? Put the name the card number expiration date and then i entered my card info online order number blah 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 which i didn't do uh was the oil changed when the sample was taken yes are you interested in extended oil use yes or no and when you check some of these like if you want a tbn a tbn measures the amount of active additive present in the oil okay that's for like detergent oils or me putting the rislone in It'll give me an analysis on that as well, and that's an additional ten dollars. Um, and then from here on down, just don't use this office line right here. Comments or questions, I'll just put a quirky note, which I usually do. Um, but that's it. And then you pack it all up. Like I said, you fill this oil container. You wrap that sucker up in that. You pop it in the Ziploc bag. And that's just in case you don't get the lid on tight enough, but I suggest giving it a, a good little twist. Put it down, seal that up. Do not put your ticket in the bag. Put it on the outside of the bag. Slide everything in. Close it, take it to the post office. Or just stick it in your mailbox and the um, postmaster will or your postal delivery will pick it up and take care of all the rest for you and all you have to do is wait for your analysis to come back so we are going to do this uh i'm going to do this on like i said on the engine oil which i already have the sample of and the transmission fluid and then when the report comes in i will show you guys what they have to say about it up here in the comments and our parts per million are uh, our numbers are going to be higher because we're breaking in an engine. I'm highly expecting that, and they are too. Uh, spoke with one of them. They said, yeah, you know, on a break-in engine, you're going to have a higher uh, metal count. It's just important that after I get, and I'm only going to put uh, 2,000 miles on this oil right now before I change it again, um, just to be on the safe side make sure I'm keeping everything as clean as I possibly can inside that engine so am I erring on the side of caution absolutely but if you guys are at all interested in knowing the health of your engine no matter the year no matter the mileage no matter anything these are the guys that you want to send your oil samples to Blackstone Labs and they also do fleet and fleet discounts so this is not a plug for Blackstone. I am not getting, I'm not endorsed by them. I just believe in them big time, okay? So there you go. That's what this is all about is Blackstone Labs and getting your oil analyzed so that without ever taking the engine apart, you can find out what kind of condition your engine is in. And if I had it, I would have included it, but I sent it with Old Blue. <laughs> Old Blue was the first one that I sent and old blues report was just like how is this engine still running and by the way it is still running and it is i still see it about town every once in a while most of the time it's over in anderson but still has the original 
it's still throwing a bunch of heavy metals down into the oil pan but it's still running uh, with uh, 300,000 miles on it so there you go that's it we're ending it here 10 minutes 15 seconds I will see you when I see you friendly neighborhood Zippo later I'm out of here